The following clip is presented to you by The Extreme Life of Matt Hardy. Available every Friday wherever you get your podcasts and at ExtremeHardy.com. So you just said B plan. Does that mean that the A plan was that you were going to be pairing back up with Jeff? The A plan is that I was going to turn babyface. Okay. It, it was literally... It, I was going to turn babyface, regardless if Jeff came or not. There, there were no Jeff plans. They didn't make Jeff creative plans. Tony refused to do that. The only after Jeff got released from WWE, and I'll never forget, I was driving to the airport. I got a call from Jeff that morning. He said, "Hey, look, I just talked with Johnny. Da da da. da. This is about to drop. Uh, they told me they want me to go to rehab. I took this drug test. They haven't even waited on the results. I told them I'm not going to." And, uh, you know, I, I haven't touched a drug and I haven't done any kind of drugs. And they said uh, they're going to release me. And I said, OK, that's fine. Release me. He said, but I want you to hear it first because I know, you, you know, your phone's going to blow up later in the day. And uh, we were in we were in New York when this went down. And then I, I remember I got on the plane and whenever I landed in Raleigh, it was just like I had 50 texts. Uh, my Twitter notifications went through the roof. And of course, everything was out. You know, the first people were saying, oh, my God, now, now that Jeff's gone, can you guys do bookings again? Or, You know, it was just <laughs> insane. And uh, I'm, I'm glad he gave me that that heads up about things. And whenever I went to TV the next week, the first thing I ever heard from Tony Khan was just like, hey, how's your brother? Is he OK? Because he, he's met Jeff before. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, they were going to one of Ric Flair's birthday parties. Uh, Tony and his girlfriend was there at the time, Jeff and his wife, Beth. Uh, Rick was there, obviously. Um, a couple other guys, but th they had met on that occasion. They hung out that, that, that night and they, they really hit it off. And Tony just asked me, he said like, Hey, is your brother good? And I said, yeah, yeah, he, he's good. And I kind of explained to him the whole deal of what went down. He said, okay, well just let him know I was asking about him and, and, and I hope he's good. He said, and if you hear later on down the road, like when is, when we can talk to him and when his no compete clause is up, or whatever, let me know. And that, that was literally the, the first conversation I had with him about Jeff being released. And that's all. So it really about. was just kind of out of, Hey, down the line, this might be something we can do. Yeah. I mean, and li literally, I could have turned babyface, done a program with Andrade for four weeks or whatever on TV, and then Jeff could have showed up. You know, I mean, it, there there was there was no plan. no plan. There was no no plan set at that time. Well, how seriously did Tony take the tampering aspect of things? Because how Tony has been Tony has been outward about this, that he has felt WWE has tried to tamper with AEW talent in the past. Uh, he takes it serious as a heart attack, as the old expression goes. I mean, he he's very like he he just he just he won't do it. He feels like it's it's not worthwhile to do. 